this is not we, this is not what you have to ask Dan when you when you come to his stream. You just sit there and you deal with it. Yeah. You sit there and we use a puzzle game as a warm up. Why? Because I just woke up from a nap and I need something to play, okay? To wake up my mind in a sense. And I just realized that the colors are all going to be here regardless if we're on normal or hard difficulty or not. So why why not put it on hard? I don't know. Maybe I don't want to play with hard right now. Maybe I just feel like playing some fucking puzzle games, okay? Go. Puzzle games are nice. Everyone always makes fun of them, but you know, realize, you know, without puzzle games, we wouldn't have games at all. Without the casual games, we wouldn't have anything. And so I don't care. It's nice. But ideally, probably should play something with an end. Nah. Who needs the end? We don't need the end. It plays forever. Endings are overrated. So overrated. We don't need to end anything. You do not need to end a damn thing. That's why we have music. Music prevents endings. How does that make sense? It doesn't, okay? Nothing I say has to make sense. This is my stream. I can say whatever the fuck I want on it. If I want to get banned, I can get banned. But I'm not going to get banned. But I mean, if I wanted to, I could quite easily. It's not hard. Nah, I'm saying. Warm up, yes, indeed a warm up. It's exactly what I meant. That's what happens when you take a nap. My mind needs to be warmed up. My reflexes are slow, therefore they must be warmed up. And other assorted reasons why you would need a warm up. I'm okay, I touch this, but you really suck to such an attack. Somehow I doubt that. Granted, I mean, I guess technically those are, they are technically two completely different games. I think I'm basically the complete opposite. I am absolute trash at Tetris. Like, no matter, even if I think I'm decent at, Tex at Tetris, I'm freaking bad at Tetris. Don't ask how I freaking can pick this game up with the, you know, with, you know, nothing. And hell, I'm not even that great at this either, but still. Like, I don't see how people can do all that fancy stuff they do in Tetris. Like, I've been watching... 
so much of that Puyo Puyo Tetris stuff, like the crazy things people are doing in like split seconds in that game makes me just like, wow. I will never be good at video games. <laughs> Ever. It's sad. Even when I think I'm good at video games, it's like people will prove you otherwise. Like, no, you are not good at video games. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> it's crazy. I've always wanted to be able to like play someone competitively in Tetris Attack. It's just really ever since seeing like net play stuff. I remember a long time ago trying to find someone to play Tetris Attack against on like those online Kylera servers and not really having any luck. And then I found out you know that people play Smash Bros competitively online, and then I tried that and I got I got freaking put down so fast. So hard that I was thinking people were hacking, but it was Smash 64. It was like people play that game for a lot. <laughs> if I was in, you got totally like right. And for the longest time, I always like got Nick to play, even though he didn't really know what he was doing. And I, I would do anything just to get like a competitive match in this game, like for real. Nick started to pick it up, but then it was just like, once I did a combo or two, like, it was just kind of lopsided and I felt bad afterwards. So I was just like, okay. It's not his genre. Definitely not his genre. And my mom was the one who originally got this game back when we had SNES. But, um, she really never got into it that much either. Well, I mean, to the point of, well, not really playing it as sensitive as me, because, I mean, we're kids. Like, we, we play stuff a, a little bit too much for our own good, obviously. I'm not gonna lie, I still low-key want to play Mario Party online again. Just for all time's sake. Haven't... Yeah, that combo would end you right there. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, you can never do a combo and still essentially win this game. Just, it would take a lot of perseverance in clearing blocks, clearing jump blocks. Cause you can just play the whole game, just countering the whole time. Never actually attack, wear your opponent out eventually. Not a very ideal way to play, but you know, it's possible. And hopefully, with the lag being fixed, um, we'll be able to play Mario Party or something somewhat soon. Granted, I can never get the guys to play hardly anything anymore. Probably because uh, I've already ruined the friendships enough with Mario Party. Why, why, why ruin it some more? Good times, though. <sighs> Mario Party and Mario Kart 2, that completely tilts you, right? <laughs> I mean, when we played when we played Mario Kart against each other before, it was it was actually kind of fun. Like, four-player battle mode? I've never gotten to do that before. I'm not even gonna lie. I've never gotten to do four-player battle mode, ever. Ever. What's up, Jack? Yeah, we're gonna play Jack after this warm-up. So I'm just needing to get my brain a-flowing since uh, I was asleep. Sleep. Yeah, so it just seems like a nice, you know, a sleepable day. I'm just saying. I'm not alone in my in my sleep adventures. Which 
12 hours? Damn, I wish I could sleep 12 hours. I can't sleep that long. Every Saturday you just sleep in? Oh, it's cause you don't sleep that. I guess that makes sense. You don't sleep during the week then. Oh yeah. Seems legit. That would be a good reason. Battle mode is the one with hearts. Yeah, the one with the the balloons. Hearts, balloons, same thing. So much fun. Lots of shenanigans throughout. seem so busy, like, Jack. I mean, you, you're still in school, right? Or no, no. You, you started working. That's what it was. You forgot you gotta work during the week, and you don't ever get no sleep. I guess that's fair enough. I keep forgetting you're out of school now. Everybody's growing up, man. <laughs> 9 to 5 every day. Oh, then gym for two hours. Oof. Hey, you putting in that work. And then you put in that work. All the work. Cause you got a routine though. It's always nice to have a routine. Oh crap. Fun friend. I've not been letting the level get too high because it's like the colors start to run together eventually. That's my downside. It's kind of ironic. A game that is matching colors is where my my color blindness doesn't like to mix in until it's too late. Now you gotta start to get mind flooded. It happened a little too quickly. been up to John since did you run any more of those runs Yeah, 
Are you allowed to? Fair enough. If I learned anything today, it was the fact that gold combo cards actually are in the game. Cause honestly, I didn't know if they were implemented yet or not. And that the magma card does exist. I've only heard of it in Legend. That's crazy. I still can't believe that showed up. It's a complete shock. Yeah, it lasts for 10 days. I mean, the thing is, it lasts for 10 days, but if you have it equipped, it never goes away. That combo card that I have that's giving me plus 7% smash damage, it's expired a long time ago. But it still gives me the damage for some reason. I... I'm surprised there's not a combo card extender, like in the in their little Shyla shop thing. Oh, crap. My brain. Brain's broken. Brain's broken. Brain's broken. Brain's broken. Maybe it doesn't. I don't really know. It might, it might not. There's not really no way for me to test. Other than like sit there and smash everything. I never really know about the like the whole additional like enhancement things. If they're even working or not. I feel like I never really see any difference anymore. <laughs> my character's weak as fuck as is. <laughs> oh, getting the red upgrade is definitely doing more. Oh yeah, for sure. You already doing high as fuck damage. Now you're doing even more high as fuck damage. I was trying to see if the, um, if I spirit, well, first, if the Moonlight Dreamcatcher is spiritable. I know they said normal Dreamcatchers are spiritable, but I don't know if the, the Moonlight one is spiritable. And if it is, does it count as, I mean, obviously it will count as a blunt weapon, but does it get like alchemy stats or does it just get melee weapon stats because I don't even use my my spirit weapon right now as is I'm either thinking of spiriting either the dream catcher or the broad axe well I missed that up all right Speed level's getting a little high now. It's a little high. No, my best says spirit, spirit moon catcher, but uh, spirit moon catcher, spirit dream catcher. I just don't know what stats it gets when it's being boosted. Don't even know. I mean, I guess there's really no harm lost in um checking. Or testing it myself but I you know obviously except the, the time it takes to make the weapon itself otherwise yeah I ain't losing much else Is 
a spirit battle sword. Oh yeah. But no one's spirits battle swords. Everyone's spirits the freaking meta weapon, the freaking spirit cutlass because of that freaking 50% crit it gets. That you could duel with or whatever the fuck you want and get all kinds of crit. Because meta, meta, meta. Everyone's gotta follow the meta. Got a freaking dual wield because you know apparently sword and shield is obsolete. Like that's one thing I don't like about Mobby Pro is the fact that some of the people they they literally will disparage other people's see you a know, weapon choices just because it's not quote unquote the strongest. When there's really no reason to ever be the strongest, when there's no content that really requires you to be quote unquote the strongest in the game right now, when you can do any mission you want to with enough teamwork. As seen with that, you know, Sulfur Spider Elite mission we did the other day with complete randoms, all under leveled, anything is possible. You don't need freaking beefy equipment, you just you gotta have game knowledge. I'm a mage with the ring belt ego. See, it doesn't matter. Do what you gotta do. You do you. Don't matter what your spirit weapon is, because at the end of the day, it's your spirit weapon. And you do what you want to do with the spirit weapon. Oof. What up? Honestly, that's probably all you really need as a spirit weapon anyway. You already have the range as a mage. You just need a way to pull things that aren't in your range. And what better weapon is a bow? I don't see no problem with that. Mainly because, I mean, spamming MP pots into pot poison, that's gonna fuck, your, fuck up your strength anyway. What the hell you need a melee weapon for? There you go. I'm gonna gonna mess up eventually. This speed level is getting a little out of hand now. Should duel sometime. Well, like I said, all you gotta do is ask. I don't really care to duel. I really haven't dueled in forever. I 
in super fast. Eh, not likely. It'll probably end fast you, it's the moment you blaze me. Since you can actually use blaze effectively in a duel. I remember when back back when Blaze like people first started using Blaze and Duel, the shit was so broken. Holy shit! Before they before they nerfed it, but still, holy hell! But I see a lot of people. Well, not a lot. I saw someone suggest like a PvP like event type deal on the forums. I was like, okay, you. Yeah. Go ahead, y'all get some more PvP stuff going on in the server, please do. Kinda sucks when you ain't got nothing to do but train your skills every week. And then attempt to farm for enchants that never drop because reasons. Oof. Oh crap. I did not sign up for this! Shit. <laughs> oh, I was not ready for that. 65 speed level, damn. I wasn't even at max yet. God damn it. Uh, Unfort. Was not ready. Unfort. I guess, uh, I guess I go to say I'm warmed up now. I did a whole one times eight. A one, one eight chain. You're terrible, Dan. No. <laughs> hey, we beat the game, boys. No, not all right. I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna switch the title up so we can actually get started with the actual playthrough. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, hopefully it works actually. <laughs> 